camcorders, DSLRs and mobile phones with HD and even 4K capabilities are becoming commonplace uh, nowadays. These devices generate huge files and in the next two minutes I'll show you a very easy and free method to compress these videos very efficiently at, at very high quality using some of the most advanced codecs like H.265 and its slightly older cousin H.264. So to do the encoding, uh, we'll use uh, open source solution uh, called FFmpeg and to use it easily I have a batch script prepared. Uh, you can download the combined uh, software from the link in the description. I have already downloaded it. I will just double click uh, executable and press extract. Expect it. So you have two files here. One is this compressed file and other is the FFmpeg. So all you have to do is to drag and drop your video file onto the compressed file uh, script. That's it. So then it will ask uh, you two options. Which codec do you want to use? Uh, H.265 is a very recent and very powerful codec and it achieves uh, almost the same quality as previous generation codecs at 50% the bandwidth. So it's very powerful but it's not supported everywhere and it will require much higher processing power and it's very slow to encode. So but that is the default setting uh, or you can use H.264 uh, MPEG-4 uh, which is a little older but it will be supported by almost every device and it is much faster to encode. So we'll choose the first option and then it will ask which quality do you want. Uh, the default is 3 which gives good quality at average file size uh, but if you want to send it to someone over the web I would suggest you choose 2 or even 1 even at 1 the quality is fairly good. So here I am choosing 1 and then it will ask which format do you want to save it in. Uh, you can choose MKV, MP4 or MOV. Uh, it doesn't matter. The compression will not be affected by the format. But uh, some of these format may not be supported everywhere. Uh, especially MKV. But M MP4 will be supported everywhere. So in my opinion it's better to choose the default one and then the compression starts and it is a slow process so it will take some time okay so now it's done it took quite a while it almost took like 35 minutes to encode the 7 minute clip and from 1.6 GB we went to 16.4 MB that is unbelievable 1.6 GB is like 1500 MBs and this is it's like a hundred factor but let's see the quality the quality is not really that bad in fact you can't even tell the difference of course there is a little bit of blocking here but I, I did choose the lowest quality setting. So it's amazing. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is if you use H.265, very few players will support this uh, encoder. So you will need the latest version of VLC to play this. So if, if you want your video to be able to play everywhere, I would suggest that you choose H.264, not 265. The compression won't be that good. Your quality may not be as good, but it will play everywhere. So hope that helps. Uh, please do share the video and hit the like button if you find this thing helpful. Thank you.